in this video we're going to be learning how to find the ip address of any website using ns lookup when you type a domain name in your browser like google.com your computer does not understand what google.com is the domain name google.com is translated into an ip address so that your computer knows where to connect this process of translating the domain name into an ip address is done by dns dns stands for domain name system and with a tool like ns lookup you can query the dns servers to find the information about the domains like the ip address of the domain servers their mail servers and more this is also one of the first step that a hacker does to gather information about a website. So let's see how to use NS lookup in our Kali Linux. So I'm in my Kali Linux right now. I will first open the terminal and there are two modes of NS lookup, the interactive mode and the non-interactive mode. If you type NS lookup without any option and press enter, you will be in the interactive mode. Here you can put your query. Suppose if I want to query google.com, I will type it like this and press enter and I can see the output. But most of the time, you will be using the non-interactive mode like NS lookup and the domain name of the website that you want to query. Suppose in this case, I want to query google.com and press enter. In the output, the first line is the server. This is the IP address of the DNS server that I'm querying. And this DNS server is generally provided by the ISP, your internet service provider, or it can also be a public DNS server like Google's DNS server. Next, we have the address. This is the IP address plus the port number. We know that DNS is in port 53. Then we have more information about the type of server it is. I can see it is a non-authoritative server. It means the data is from a cached source. So the information might be incomplete or outdated. Later in the video, I will show you how to gather information from the authoritative server where you will get the correct and the true IP of any website. Next, what we have is the domain name. So this is the domain name that I queried which was google.com and this is the IP address of google.com. You can use NS lookup for any website. Suppose if I want to find the IP address of my own website, then I will type NS lookup space the name of my website. I can see the domain name and all the IP address that are associated with my domain name. Now let's look at mail servers. Mail servers are used to route emails of a particular domain. So suppose if I type NS lookup space dash type equal to MX, which stands for mail exchange and type the name of my domain, which we know is gmail.com and press enter. And in the output from the non-authoritative server, I can see the mail servers that are being used by Google and also the priority level lower priority means that it is better i also get information from the authoritative server now let's see how to query the authoritative server only to find the true and correct ip of any domain but before that if you're using kali linux it is very important that you're comfortable with the command line so for that i have added an article in the first link in the description box when you go to this article you will find the kali linux cheat sheet for beginners with all the comments that will be used in your day-to-day -day task so when you get stuck, you can refer to this article and it is in the first link in the description box. Now to query the authoritative server, I will type ns lookup space dash type equal to ns. ns stands for name server space the domain. These are the authoritative server of Google and this is the IP address. Authoritative server ensures that the DNS records are the most up to date. You can also find the domain name from the IP address too. So suppose if I copy this IP address, and clear my screen and type ns lookup space paste the ip address and press enter i can see the name servers which are from google this process is called reverse dns lookup because we are translating the ip address to domain name finally you can also query a domain name with a dns server of your choosing so this time i will ns lookup github.com and I want my DNS server to be the Google DNS server. And if I press enter, I get the output from the non-authoritative server, which is this one. If you want more information, you can check the manual page with the command man NS lookup and you will get extremely detailed output of what you can do with NS lookup. So that is for the end of the video. If you like this video and want to watch more content related to Kali Linux or ethical hacking, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.